Oman-based brand Amouage has developed a reputation for its use of eccentric materials and its fragrances, leading to dense oriental compositions that tend to leave an impression when you walk by. But today we are going to look at one that I think is probably the easiest to wear from the house, or at least among some of the easiest on the house, with Amouage Reflection Man. Although this floral fragrance tends to not be in my wheelhouse as much as normal, this has grown on me considerably, and with this video I want to discuss its scent, the performance, and some additional takeaways for who this might be best suited for. And guys, before we jump into this video, I do want to mention we just started an Instagram page. Definitely recommend checking it out. We have a ton of great photos there that we're gonna keep posting. It's a great way also to stay in the loop with us, communicate a little bit more directly. And then in addition to that, also we'll get some inspiration for your next signature scent for things that maybe we don't even cover here. Check it out, link will be in the description down below. So Reflection Man was first introduced in 2007 and has been one of the best sellers for Amouage since its release. Now the bottle comes in at two different sizes, a 50 ml bottle for $265 and a 100 ml bottle for $360. Both come in an eau de parfum concentration. And the bottle that I'm showcasing here is a 2021 bottle, so a newer one with the magnetic cap uh, with the writing of Reflection underneath the Amouage branding. The presentation is elegant as always, showcasing a clear bottle and its recognizable ornate cap made to emulate the ceremonial dagger by Omani Men. But now let's talk about the scent itself. So Reflection Man has a few distinct points along the way uh, as you wear this one on the skin. Notes for this one include rosemary, red pepper, and mild citrus with orange leaves off the top. Then it moves into its white floral mid of neroli, orris, jasmine, and ylang ylang, closing out with a woodsy base of vetiver, patchouli, sandalwood, and cedar. First, let's discuss the short-lived opening of this fragrance. Now, I would describe it as being more herbaceous with some effervescent undertones, most likely a result of the use of pepper, uh, which along with the rosemary are what I pick up the most uh, when I spray this one on my skin. This is more earthy than it is bright with citrus, and even off the initial spray, you get a hit of what is to come with its powdery buildup. This more herbaceous opening dissipates around 15 minutes in, evaporating and therefore losing the battle to the strongest note that I can pick up in Reflection Man, and that's the use of jasmine. Now this floral midsection is when the fragrance is at its fullest capacity for projection, with the detection of jasmine being the most notable followed by orris and neroli. This white floral aspect creeps up on you quickly, so just be prepared, becoming a tenacious powdery wave off the skin for the next couple of hours before gradually becoming less intense as the woods appear, with sandalwood being the easiest to detect for me. All of the notes are lucidly constructed, making them easier than normal, I would say, to isolate throughout the life of the fragrance, adding some excitement to wearing this one. Now, speaking to performance, I do wanna note that I do have a newer bottle of this, but I would say that this for performance is more around that average uh, in that arena. The opening is strong, but again, when the jasmine and neroli begin to rise, that is when this fragrance is at its full strength in the projection department. This floral body lasts around two to three hours, offering an unwavering scent during that time. However, once the florals start to conclude, it does somewhat fall off dramatically. Maybe dramatically is a little extreme, but it does certainly fall off, becoming a lighter skin scent of flowery woods for the remaining few hours. In total, Reflection Man, with this bottle that I have here, lasts around six hours, uh, with a very strong first couple of hours of projection and sillage, which given it's typically framing as a spring summer fragrance, will allow it to stack up reasonably compared to the volatile citrus-oriented scents typically adjoining this time of year. Although being labeled as Reflection Man, I do think this fragrance could absolutely be classified as unisex. It does lean slightly masculine, but I think women can absolutely wear this one. I'm making it a nice fragrance for maybe couples that want to go in halves on a fragrance as an example, or a fragrance where you want to buy it for that significant other and maybe uh, have some ulterior motives. Up to you. Another point about this one, I will say that also I think it has potential to be more year round than some other spring summer oriented fragrances, just given the dense powdery nature of the florals. Because it's not so reliant on citrus, I, I do think that that two to three hours of projection should still give you some nice peace of mind, even in different months in the fall and potentially winter. All right, so now some closing considerations and who this one might be best for. First off, let's discuss who this is not for. If you're somebody that does not like white floral fragrances, you haven't really uh, delved into this world before, I would probably avoid this one or just proceed with caution and definitely sample first. Jasmine, very strong. You have this powdery midsection uh, with the orris, uh, neroli, and of course that jasmine, which I think is the number one note in terms of prominence here. 
that could give off some effects of maybe a typical type of like a room spray effect, maybe being a bit more feminine. If you're somebody that really likes these, what people would call like traditional ultra masculine fragrances. This is again, leading a bit more masculine, but it's doing with this floral undertones, white florals. If you are interested in white florals, I think this is a very well crafted fragrance. It smells opulent. It's very easy to also isolate the notes for me. And I think that's one of the great things about Amouage. They do a very nice job with the composition of their fragrances. You can kind of feel like what is coming. There's like almost like some foreshadowing with how this one wears on the skin. As this starts to evaporate, uh, you get a sense of where this fragrance is going and it's just a fun thing to wear. When it comes to the performance, I think it's, I would say average for the spring summer genre of fragrances. I would say it's absolutely fine for at least me, but people typically have a higher expectation when they're talking about Amouage with many of their oud and incense oriented fragrances that just last a long time. So this is not going to be quite to that category much lighter, but I will say that two to three hour mark, like as you're kind of going in those first few hours, this is a strong fragrance uh, with that just powdery wave of florals that you're going to experience, which you have to be careful with potentially the sprays there uh, on maybe some of those warmer summer days. But I think for this one, how I would recommend it, if you want to dabble into Amouage for the first time, I think this is a safe one to go for, especially if you like floral fragrances. If you're not really into floral fragrances, uh, probably not going to be for you. Uh, but if you are, and you maybe want to get into this world, I think Amouage is presenting a amazing white floral uh, fragrance. It's composed nicely, great for the spring and summer months, and has that uh, Middle Eastern feel that has become so uh, reflective of what the brand is all about. All right, guys, well, that is my take on Amouage Reflection Man. What is your take on this one? Do you like this one? Do you not like this one? What would you also consider for other people? And then also, if you have an older bottle, I'd love to hear your comments about the performance and what you're feeling on the skin. I will mention also there's Reflection 45 with that higher concentration of oil. It's a different scent profile, but that's also another one to maybe look at as well. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. Really do appreciate everybody for subscribing so far. It's been a fun ride and we're excited to keep this going. But all right, guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.